Hi guys, it's Rachel here and we're going to do the last day of the 100 day budget. Okay, so first of all, I went to this antique market and there's a couple of dealers there that know me. Um, and one had contacted me that he had some stuff, but this is not the stuff. Um, it's down on the bottom floor. It's just lots of ephemera and, and documents. So I'm feeling happy again that I can put together some more packs because I get a bit precious when I put an amount of packs together and, and see my stash going down. So I can I can do some more soon. Um, oh, before I show you these goodies, I just want to show you, I did, just to get my mojo going before I did my video today, um, I have done some more of the uglies. I've turned some more of the uglies into pretties. Well, I think they're pretty. And my inspiration was this. If you want me to do it on camera, I can, but we did something similar. So this was just on a tea dyed index card and I did it a couple of years ago, I think in the 100 day project or, no, I might've done that last year in Roxy's weekly challenge. So um, I wanted to show you, inspired by this one, I took some of the ugly Sigma supermarket ones. And as I was tidying up my table, which is now in a bit of a mess again, let me just move these over here. That way, yes, it's a bit tidier now. I did a little bit of fussy cutting. I cut out some of the flowers. I found my scissors. They were down downstairs. Um, so I found I had a um, some collage pages and three of them go these, this one. This one's not plain, but I had some collage pages that after a video that I had done with you guys, I just sat and collaged up some pages and they were plain ones. So I put the plain piece on here. So these are a little bit thicker than the ones I did yesterday. And then I, I, I decorated them in a similar way to how I decorated that. And I had a lot of fun with them. So I thought I'd just share those with you. And if you want me to do them on camera, I can. So they're just, um, I did the collaging on the back um, in one big sheet and then glued them on. And I have a couple of strips left over. So I'll be able to um, make long tags with those. But I'm really pleased with how they turned out. That was just a piece of newsprint that I just went on with the, the pens. So, oh, I didn't do any mark making on that one. Anyway, I'll do that again afterwards. And then this one here. And I finally found a home for this flower that has been sitting in my box forever. So really, really pleased with those. I'll put that one on top. So I know that I need to keep on keeping on with that. Now let's have a look at these. I don't know if these are going to work. Um, these are from a, a, it was from a dressmaking. I bought five, but the other ones are downstairs. And he said, when I see him again, he he said he's got more. Um, so it's from a dressmaking school that um, closed down. And I looked at the paper, 1923, 1924. So I, what I'm going to do here with this is I want to um, save this piece here. And I want to glue it on there. Because that is what the pattern is on that. And it's metal. It's a like a stamp. But I don't know how it's going to stamp. But we'll give it a go. One day I'll go down and get the other ones. I think they need a bit of a clean. Um, but they were dressmaking stuff. I don't know. They're little. I, it was a school. So maybe they had made little mini things. I don't know. But they I, they had all these stamps. I could have bought more. I just chose the ones that I really liked the pattern on. So that's that one again wrapped up in this paper, which I thought was really cool. Um, and then, um, oh my gosh, these guys. Look at this. This is parchment. Let's just move this one out of the way first. So we'll look at one at a time. So it's parchment. I don't know the date. I cannot find the date on it. Um, they weren't cheap, but I'm putting it in my collection and and I'm going to see if if we when we get an A3 um, scanner, if we can um, scan it. Like I thought this would be amazing if you could scan it print it on imagine printing that on I'd have to stitch it together because I could only do it would only yeah I'd have to like what I'd have to do is it go to there and then have another piece and I'm thinking you could because I only have a4 um although Steffi said you could you could make a mini one with my printed a4 size and print it on hemp wouldn't that be amazing printed on hemp um anyway it's a register of something I know that says may but I can't see the date on this one there's no date. I don't know. There might be a date. I'm going to get my mother-in-law to come over and um, have a look and see if she can find the date. Um, and we'll do some scanning of bits and pieces that we like. I can't read that. I don't know. And this is all drawn by hand, guys. It's not printed. It's drawn by hand. So it's some sort of register. Some of them are empty. 
um, there's a bit more writing in at the back. I was wondering if the date was written in some funny way that I didn't understand. It's super thick paper. I mean, look at the quality of the paper. Very, very thick. I would wonder why they didn't have a date on there. I would wonder why. But anyway, I haven't studied it yet, but... Um, oh, I just love it. I, it's going to go on my new bookshelf in the TV room. I love it. Oh, my goodness. And lucky my mother-in-law was there because Steffi was being difficult. Because they weren't cheap. Um, but Steffi was being like this and being a bit of a handbrake. Mr. Agu was a bit of a handbrake yesterday. Um, but I didn't listen to him. And, um, <laughs> you know, don't, aren't men handbrakes sometimes? They just don't have a vision. I said, you just get scanning, mister. Now, could that be 1723? May, that says May, 18th of May, Majo, 1723. That could be the date. That could be it. We might have found a date. I'm going to ask my mother-in-law to read it because Italian writing is a little bit, um, they do things a little bit differently to us. I'm wondering. So, yeah, so anyway, my mother-in-law was then, and she's like, and she negotiated the price down for me. Um, and so... And so um, I was able to get them. She, she said, no, don't. She said, you be quiet to her son. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm like, thank goodness. So that's that one. And I just love it. I find just even the cover, you know, I have lots of old um, sort of documents, but that cover to me, I've never seen anything like that before. I'd, I must look up how did they do that? Did they burn it? Or is it like, did they imprint ink into it? I don't know. Does anybody know? I'm going to look it up on the internet anyway and see if I can find out. But it says uh, exchange register. De Cambi. Cambi means exchange and register or is it register. So that's what I think that is. But I'm inspired by that cover. But wait till you see this one, guys. Wait till you see this. This is bigger. Look at this. <gasps> oh, this is leather. Look at the stitching. Just the stitching. Look at the Look at that cover. And how are we going to scan it? I don't know. 37, there must... No, 97 or 37, I don't know. That's the back. It's coming apart. I'm, I may um, just glue those on so that... Well, I could glue them crisscrossed. Can you see that? It's coming off. I might glue them crisscrossed so they don't, you know, damage further. Um, but look at the decoration on that. I can't... I can't read that. Something... Bittori... I can't read that. I don't know what that says. Oh, there's a man face. It looks like Dante. Dante Alighieri. Um, 1596. 1596. Oh, my gosh. It looks like 1596 writing, doesn't it? Because the writing changed. Look at this. Very scratchy writing they did. Very scratchy. But I'm so excited. So excited. You don't... I don't... Like... The only time, do I have it up here? You've seen it before. I don't have it up here. Where did I put it? Mm. I've got the one, you know, the one that I, I had, I, I have found a cover like this. Didn't have any of this decoration, really big one. Do you remember, guys? And I put the, the binder in it and I've, I've got um, the plastic sleeves with some of my antique letters in there. This is in the all 1500s, 1565, 1558, 15. 57 isn't that just and look at the i mean that rag paper this is really this is like almost like a cardstock it's like, like probably 160 gsm i would say if not more and it's rag paper and it's it's in wonderful condition it's just incredible so oh just it's just you just it's a just because thing isn't it it's amazing anyway i haven't really been through it too much but I th oh I thought there one of them had a few things slotted in there, but this one does. Oh, yes, look, there are little things in there. This is like, well, this is a piece of rag paper. It's got nothing on it, but cool. It's a marker. Oh, yes, it did. It. This one did. Look, look, at the. I'll scan these. I wonder if these are 1500. They probably are. Looks like someone just did some little calculations on there. So some, it's just so special. I'm so excited. Anyway, I'll probably take them back downstairs on the bottom floor because it's really cool. And look, the blotting paper. Steph is like, what's that? And I'm like, it's blotting paper. 
That's the blotting paper so that they didn't get their ink everywhere. I think there were some other things in there too, but we'll go through it and we'll scan interesting bits. Um, there's another little piece. I just love it. I want them to stay in there. Anyway, there you go. You say I never share anything. I'm sharing those because they were just too special not to share. So I'll just put those over here in the box over here. Okay, so what to do today? <laughs> so I thought, so here we go. I've got these. I'm just going through and gluing them onto pretty pieces of paper. I'm just going to go eventually slow, slowly go through and do the whole stack. So I have these plain bits of paper, uh, paper, fabric. Now, just a minute. I think I need to, I need some water. I wanted to use these paints. Um, I'm going to do some mark making just on the scrappy bits of fabric. Uh, there's the brush. Uh, I don't need any water. Um, so I've got some scrappy bits of fabric here. It's just um, vintage cotton from... Um, yeah, vintage pieces of cotton from when I've used them. Here's a little bit of, here's a nice piece of hemp. Maybe we'll do a little bit of that too. Okay, I'm feeling hot and bothered right now. It's pretty hot today. Now, oh, did I put my face in? I hope not. I'm just going to grab all my, my fun mark making pens with the bright colours. And then we can grab others if we want them. Oh, let me just grab that postcard and, sorry, I want to finish it off while I'm here. Not that colour. What about this is for fabric these two are i got these from the chinese shop too that which when i say the chinese shop always know i mean the discount shop um it's for fabric fabric markers so i thought i'd give those a whirl i'm trying to think what color maybe we'll do green these are the stinky ones hold it down i just like doing these little marks There we go, that'll do, maybe a couple down there. Okay, so that one's completed now. It's a bit whiffy. If I didn't have my window open, I might um, <laughs> might go to my head. Okay, so first of all, on this little one, I'm going to do, it's just going to be very simple marking. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to, I'm all over the place. Sorry, guys. Do you feel jumpy? Because I'm jumping everywhere. It's jumpy. Oh, I don't like the, the horrible images. Horrible images. So, oh, disappointing news. I'm just going to bring you down closer, just a sec. And I will double check when I bring you down that you stay in focus. I'll give it a tap. There we go. You're in focus. That's what happened in my... Um, I want to do dashes on this one. So this is Mark making... Um... This is mark making without, I'm not using like, I'm not going to pull out all the paints. This is like quick, no mess mark making on fabric. Sort of, And you don't want to do large expanses of fabric too because these pens, you know, they might dry up sort of thing. You don't want them to dry up. So you know, they, then they get to have a little rest. So that's that one. Um, and then we'll do some... And then we're going to do something with them. There is there is method to the madness. I'm going to need little pieces, so I might even cut this a bit smaller. So then we can move on to the next pattern. Actually, oh, I'm letting that... Oh, I've got the fabric marker. Why don't I use that? We're just going to do... Whoops. You kind of need to hold it. You could washi tape it down if you wanted to. We'll do some little stripes here. Like that. Um... I'll tell you what are good too, the, the alcohol markers are good on the fabrics, but um, I don't have any of those, so I'm just going to rip a piece off. Where did I put the other piece? Oh, over there. What a goose. I am all over the place today. Really all over the place. We'll do some dots. And they happen quite quickly. Oops, and on my finger as well. Really fun just to create your own fabrics that are yours. You did it. Nobody else. Leslie, get onto it. Okay. That one. And 
I just, as I said, I want to use little pieces. Hmm, I don't like that little bit there. What will I do? Oh, that one, it is working. Don't worry, we'll get into the neon as well in a minute. Oh, we've done a little bit of neon, but we need orange. And I'll tell you what other, I love that colour there. Look at that colour there. Obviously, I'm not doing this to, you know, to put into a quilt that I'm going to wash. This is going to be something, you know, go into a journal. Okay. And then we're going to have another little piece and we're going to, we'll do some, where's my neon orange over there? I can answer my own question. And I think I'll do big dots. Oh, yes, I like that. Nice size dots. So how is everyone today? I hope you're well. Don't despair. I'll probably be back tomorrow to do another video. The 100 day project is coming to an end, but not the videos. They will continue. Continue on. I love that. It's, I almost feel like I need sunglasses for it, but I want to do some dots like that with the... I want to see if I can get dots like that with the blue. Let me just try the blue again because they're nice big ones instead of little ones. Let's see. Hmm. I have to let it sit longer with this type of... This is a paint marker. But just a minute, I've got my other paint markers. I should get those out. My Posca pens, I should get those. See, if I let this one, this type, you'll just have to experiment. If I let it stay longer, you can see. Can you see it blends out? And you can see why I put my paper underneath. Actually, you could have a painted, you know, piece. Of, like, I should get one of my... You know, when I'm doing the painting, oh, I've got a splatter. Oh, look, it's all going to run out. That's great. I like splatters. I should have one of my other, you know, pages down. Um, so then I, I have the marks on there. Cool. All right, put that one over there. Um, here's another piece. And we will do, oh, we wanted to do them with the pink. I wanted to try and do the pink one like that. We might pull out some some other. They don't they don't come out as quite as big as the orange ones, but it doesn't matter. So just do random dots everywhere. If I wanted to do sort of more sort of drawing, I probably could do other drawing on here. Um, I just might need to tape my fabric so it doesn't move and drive me mad because it's slip sliding all over the place. Okay. Did I tell you my brother's not coming? His trip got cancelled? Oh, he was supposed to arrive tomorrow night. And, oh, the poor thing, and he'd, he'd um, because he'd added us on in his trip. And so he, uh, you know, out of his pocket, he had paid for all the train and everything. So, um, I think he was a little bit disappointed. And do dashes. I wonder if I should. I'm wondering if I should. Oh, I like this. You have to keep dipping it in because I've got no water on my brush whatsoever. So if you put, if you have water on your brush, you might get a little bit of um, bleeding as well, which is not a bad thing. You know, bleeding into the fabric, not you bleeding. I just love all these pops of colours. I've become obsessed. Can you hear the birdies? I've got the window open. I have the screen, the blind lowered a little bit. That one will have to dry. We might not be able to use that one. Um, 
so yeah i have to have the blind lowered about halfway because the fly screen doesn't go all the way to the top obviously they couldn't find one um that that um oh my gosh there's the biggest wasp oh my god it's inside sorry guys that was the biggest the biggest bee i ever saw i don't know if it was a bee or a wasp it was like that big Honestly, it was that big. So, oh my gosh, I nearly had a heart attack. Oh, I've had to close the window. Freaky, freaky. Okay, close that. So, with, because I, you know, I'm using this um, bodgy nylon brush, I can, um, I can just, um, I just wipe it with the wet, the you know, the wet wipe, and it's, it's great. Now, I'm obviously not able to do anything more than dots with this because. You know, it's not flowy sort of paint because there's no water helping it flow. It's nothing helping it flow. It doesn't want to flow at all. But it can make dashes. I'll just do a few colours different to the pens. And then I'm going to grab my other pens out and see if there's anything there I might like in a different colour. Oh, I like that one. I do like that one. Okay, I can't believe... So what I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by the bee, I don't know if it was a bee or a wasp, it was huge. If that stung me, I think I'd, I'd probably have to go to the hospital. Um, before I was rudely interrupted, I was saying that the, the fly screen doesn't go right to the top. And so I have the blind down. I was thinking they're not going to discover the way down, but that one did. Okay, just let me grab the others. He's still there. I can see him through the slats. We have more colours here that we can do. Look at this. We've got a whole drawer full of them. So I'm going to move these to the side, as you do. And we'll do a little bit more, and then we'll do something with them. Could be one of those videos. Because you don't want to see me doing dots. Because mostly I'll probably do dots. Like the whole video. Now, we'll just finish up these little bits of fabric. And, um, and then we'll get cracking. Yep, he's still walking around up there. Cheeky so-and-so. Okay. You can also use, you know, these sorts of things. Um, what about this sort of colour? Is this one working? It is. What will I do? I'll do some... Whoopsie, you have to hold on to it. If you want to venture out and do anything other than a dash, you need to hold on to it. I think I'd like them a bit... Get a grip, Rachel. Closer together. And these are paint markers. These ones, yes, these came from, these aren't the best. These came from Daiso. Um, in a, I bought them years ago. These are good ones. These are the one for all paint markers. They're really good. They were recommended by Wendy Brightbill. That's where I got those. Um, and they're very good. Um, actually, I'll cut that that way. I just want to get a few different other, a few different colours. Oh, I love this one. I don't know if this is one of my favourite colours. I don't know if that one's going to work. Let's give it a shake and see what happens. Oh, lovely. Because it's so runny, look at the blotches I'm getting on there. That's really like what happens when you have paint with water in it. I love that. Oh, I really do like that. I'm glad it's not working properly because it's, you know, very wet, shall we say. That is definitely a favourite. That's a favourite colour. Put that aside. Probably not a good idea to put it on a digital sort of thing. Okay, and I think I might do another one with that. I might do... See, this one's got a lot of paint coming through it, so it is putting a lot of, until I, you know, till the fabric soaks it all up, it is putting a lot of colour onto the, you know, thickly. That's what I'm trying to say, thickly. Oh, I guess I'm in state of shock about that bee, figuring out how to fly down between the, the blind and the fly screen. That's just incredible. Clever chook. 
not so good for me. Okay, let's try another colour. I love that. That is definitely, I don't know which way was the correct direction. So let's see what we can do on a strip from here. I'm just doing little pieces, as I said, I'm going to have a bit of a, a bit of variety of colours. I won't say a variety in pattern. Oh, now this is a new one. Where did I get that one from? Oh, I got this at the hardware store. They had some. I thought I'd give it a go. And I haven't opened it yet. So let's open it and see what happens. Just, just bear with me while I struggle and open it. Now the gold, I've got gold, but the, the gold that I've got from the discount store, it doesn't, um, it just looks brown. So, but I do have a gold, I think I've got a gold, unless I took it downstairs, I think I might have taken it downstairs. Oh, it's already working. Oh, it's similar to the other colour. What will we do? We'll do, oh, it's very similar to the other colour. This gives you that little bit of mark making just like what you do on the paper but you're doing it on the fabric and now we'll do dots oh it does the blend like the blurring dots which i really like just hold it there and it soaks soaks the color of course you can use you know your crayons and all kinds of things to draw on the fabric go down like that it soaks even more how cool is that well they're working well I should go back and see what other colors they've got hmm. okay and we've got two more we'll do two more what other color can we get oh you know what I really love I love this gray this is a favorite color let's see if I can do some other you know what? Let's just grab. I'm sure I've got one on my table somewhere. Um, in my Christmas tray, I have a couple that I'm not mad about uh, that I don't really use so much. Like, I don't really like that brown one. So let's tape it down with that. Just tape it. Oops. there so it moves less is my hope and there we'll put it there and there I think I think the bees one I can't hear it anymore so I wanted to do this we can venture out now that it's taped down and do different things bit wonky okay and here I might just do I might do dots oh I might have to do a full oh look at that if you push it down you get big blobs oh cool I'm gonna do a big blob one okay I want to do that I'm gonna get another piece I have no end of those scraps of fabric. I want to do the big blobs. Just bear with me while I do those. Um, there's another scrappy piece of fabric. It's all got stamp stuff on it. I'll have to go over to this one over here and rip a piece off. Oh, I love that. It's so scrappy. Oh, that's what I want. Look, look how much paint came out. And you can do smaller ones.
Okay, cool. Look at all that paint on there. I might just put that on there so it can dry on there because a lot came out. And I want to do stripes with this one as well. Are there any other colours before we put the drawer away? Some of them I don't, some of them actually don't work. So we do have another piece here that we could do something with. Yeah, some of them don't work. So it's a bit hit and miss. Maybe some pale pink would be nice. I wonder if I could do. I'd have to tape it. I've got paint all over me now. I'll just hold it. Oh, there you go. I've got more paint coming down now. It's easier. Look how much darker it is now. And the thing is, you know, it's this little scrap of fabric. If you don't like it, you can chuck it. So as long as your paint markers are working well, you can do little patterns as well. I wish I had Lulu's um, Ohuhus. They would be good to use, but um, I think she's got took them because she needed them and they're downstairs. There we go. And that's that one. Okay, I think we should move on. And if they're dry, and I'll, put, I'll throw all of these, although I do like to have them at hand, but we'll just throw all of those in there. At the table. And they're everywhere. So, what's next? Put those away. Put that out of the way, I should say. Put that out of the way. Over there. Right. I've got threads everywhere. So then I've also got some stamped bits here that I could use. We'll just rip those up. I don't have much variety, I don't think. Probably need to stamp some, but we'll see. Oh, and I've got a few bits and pieces. These are just stamped. Look, I've already put a little bit of paint on that one. Oh, no, I have a few bits and pieces of variety. Here's another one there. And just some scraps of fabric, any scraps. And we're just going to make little clustery things with them and hand stitch them, I think. I've got some other bits and pieces that I had already done. I've tested it out, you see, there. Um, and then all these little pieces of fabric are good. This is just thrown in a basket. Just little leftover bits and pieces. I just want to pull out a few, because then that then that's how I get my inspiration. Because I've got, oh, here's another one on a different type of fabric. And then some pattern bits and pieces we need.
Oh, I even did some paint on that one, which I thought was nice. On the, even these little bits. Because you can use them. Isn't it? Oh no, that's a printed piece of fabric. Got a bit of lace here. My favourite lace. Okay. Right. And I do have more fabrics left over from the other day. So I might just put my things on the floor so I can get to them. From when we did the sample pieces, like I have this piece, but I don't know whether this piece will go with the bright, so I won't use that one. Um, you see, oh, there's heaps. Look at all of this. So we don't need big pieces of fabric to do things. Okay. I wish I could have my window open. The bee has gone, but anyway. I'm a bit freaky, so. Right, so let's start. Put those aside and just grab a piece. So I'll grab a piece that I think is dry and you just start layering them. Like you could take this piece here. I think that works really well together as far as colors are concerned. And then I would just add a little piece of something stamped. Maybe that one. There you go, there's a cluster. Pins. I know they're, oh, they're all over. Oh, I've, they, I've got to go over there and get my thing. So we just pin it in. And then we'll stitch it. So I've got lots of that little bit, that, that fabric. Here we go, I've got this one. It's a very fray fabric, this one. Is that dry? Not quite. I'll blot it. Let's blot it. And I d sometimes I'm not quite sure I don't like it. So then I'll just, you know, move on to the next. After all of that. So this piece is too big. But what about, oh, I like that and that together. Or... What else do we have? I think I like that more. Put those together. And then we can decide afterwards. It's a bit of a crazy idea, but it's fun. No, not stripes. We've got stripes. So this piece I wanted to... This strip here I wanted to tear off. Might still be wet. That piece is a piece on its own and then that's another piece. Um, hmm. I don't know if I like those colours. I don't mind it. No. Quite like that together. So this is what I do. I just put it aside. If it's not if it's not coming to me straight away, I just sort of put it to. Oh, I like that. That's it. Okay, that's that one. I'm, I've, I haven't got any pins here. I have to get help up and get them, and so I'm being lazy. Um, I don't know if I want. I do like the little stamped bit as well, but I might. I might have to. I, I don't want it so big. Unfortunately, I have to use lose my frayed edges because it's a bit small to rip. But I prefer it like that. There we go. And then these, I think, you know, you can put them as a cluster on a page or you could glue that down onto a tag shape and then you've decorated your tag. Um, I probably won't get them all stitched because there's quite a, got quite a few going on here, don't I? But, like, you don't have to have them even with a stamped bit on it. They could just be like that. Or could even go on to there. I think I'll keep that one like that. Let's put this one. I love that one. I'm going to rip one of these. That needs something else. Oh, that's cute. Um, mm. 
No. Maybe we could have two painterly bits. Or not. I love ripping fabric. Nope. Oh, this one I need to rip as well, separate those two. This is how I get distracted. I just um, <laughs> jump from one thing to the next. You could sometimes just stitch those on and then find a home for them as well. Now, I don't mind that. I try to um, sort of not have them, you know, like all lined up either. I quite like that, but I think I like that there. Yes, that's it. I probably need to grab a few more bits and pieces before I can sort of I'm limited with what I've got here oh I like these little printed bits too printed bits of ephemera they are hmm I like that one I have a nice piece of linen here I don't know if I can rip it. Let's see. No. Sometimes linen will not rip. So I just fold it and cut it like that. And I do like that combination. Oh. Maybe like, no, not like that, like that. Okay, so there they are. We'll just stop at those. This one, this one doesn't have anything on it. Does it need anything on it? Maybe not. Let me just see this. So you could put a laundry label on there too. I've got this, oh, just a minute. Now I have this here. This is some, um, I printed the ephemera on hemp. This one could be good with that. I like that more. Okay, I'm going to have that and that maybe or that one. Yes. Okay, there they are. So then I just need to grab a needle and a couple of colours. I do need some pins, but I didn't get up and get them. I think just to keep my life easy, I might get and try and find my Palo Cottons. Excuse me, I have met multiple. There's those, but they're not the colours I want necessarily. They're perlays. I think I've got three. They're wool. I wouldn't use wool so much for these. I could have it downstairs, my blue one. In which case, oh no, here it is. No, they're cotton. Yep, my blue is not up here. Wouldn't you know? I wanted blue. So, I'll have to go into the stranded threads. Oh, I knew there was one downstairs and that's the one that I want. Okay, so we'll put that aside there. I do have a pin cushion here, just a sec. Right. Oh, dear me, it's hard work. How long have I been here? Oh, 45 minutes. Well, we'll just stitch one and I'll just show you how I stitch them together. It's very easy. 
let's see uh, I got well I could have maybe pink that one's got a lot to stitch on oh let's pin them So for normally if I'm not doing a video I just I would just stitch around them quickly with a plain cotton that you can't see and then I would do any sort of embellishing stitches. So I'm just going to pin them together. Yep, so I would stitch around all of them and just you know so they so they're all held down. Um I don't want those colours. I wanted blue, and I don't have blue up here. Let's see if it's in this one. No. No, no, no. Not using any of those. Okay. So I have to go into the strand of threads. Okay, so now maybe I don't have time to stitch them. Do I have one done? Well, this is here's a couple done. I do have a couple done, so let me just show you those. So this one is just stitched. See, it's just stitched by hand. Are we in focus? Yes. It's just stitched. And then I can do any... If you stitch it down with just plain thread, then you can do like little X's and knots and whatever you want. Um, rather than... Because I, I, I've realised we've been here for a long time in the video. Um, so these are all just stitched down with cotton. And then I can come back and do some stitching. This one was stitched down... Oh, that's one. I did that one with you. I had another one that I did. Oh, this one. See, none of them I've put any decorative stitching on. But, oh, well, let's put decorative stitching on these, these ones. Let's do that. So, these I just have to stitch down like these with the cotton. And so these ones, actually, I can do that. I'll put those aside. I'll put those in a basket. And I can just do those in front of the telly. And we can embellish these. Well, up there for thinking. Right. So, what colour do I want? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I might need to go back into this one now because I've got different colours. I think I would like something like something like that. Or oh, that's a great colour. What about if I do some of that? That one? Um, I better make a decision because we're going to be here for hours. Hours and hours and hours. Which is not odd for me, is it? Right, now I can't get to the beginning of my thread. Here we go. Grab my scissors. Hopefully I can thread it because my threader is downstairs. My fingers are dirty. So what I'm going to do here, I think... Me thinks is I'm just going to do some. Oh, that's oh, get through there. Sometimes these um, vintage cottons are uh, they're very high thread count. It's quite hard to pull your needle through. It's all bunched up. I'm just going to do a couple of rows of running stitch. I like making these things. I don't make them often enough. And you can just sit and make a whole lot and then just put them in a box and then um, use them wherever you feel fit. They could even be pretty sitting on the front of a cover. You never know. It's a bit of a mixed video, isn't it, today? It's a bit um, stitching and mark making on fabric. And I don't do my rows the same length. I like them to be different. Yep, 
iPad keeps flashing notifications at me. It's very distracting. You could then even come over with some paint and do some mark making on your stitches. Ha, huh, that would be really taking it to the next level. I didn't put any lace, you could put some lace. Now, what else will we do? Change color, we don't want to use this color again. I might use some mustard yellow on that one. Put those back, try and keep them in order. Do I have some mustard yellow here? Do I, do I, do I? Um, I have that one. Is that thread? Yes, that I think that works really well with that. So let's just get this going. It's three, it's got three. Oh, this is one, something I bought in Australia from the sewing basket, I think. Let's see if I can thread. I want it to be thick. I think some fluoro paint blobs, blobs on there would look really cool. I don't know if I can thread this needle with two. I might have to just do one. Because I don't want to get up and... Uh, well, it's downstairs, my threader. It's, oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, I'm going to do some, some knots. So I'll only get one done because I took I had too much fun doing the mark making. So obviously, if you've got um, French knots, they're going to be a little bit lumpy. So something like this is not going to. It needs to be on something removable or on the cover, unless you've got a writing board. You could have a writing board that you you know put in between the pages, and that way you don't have. Um, Lump, you know, you don't feel the lumpy bits. Love the colours in this. Then I then I tend to want to hoard these sorts of things. But if I hoard them long enough, I do eventually use them. I put them aside and I keep sort of passing over them saying, no, 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 not that one. Um, and then I do eventually use it. It's like hoarding the things that eventually end up in my shop. They do eventually get there. It's just they have to be hoarded for a little while. Oops, I like this thread. Don't know what type of thread it was. One, two, three, four, five, six. I need to do one more. I like them to be uneven. I might just have one. I might have one shooting across over here. I don't know what I've done there. Look at that. Oops, I didn't pull it right through. So what I need to do is just catch that when I'm knotting. I just catch it. And just see. I'd love it if I had this colour even darker. I think I'm just going to put a few little X's down here just to bring the colour down there as well. And see, my, you know, the obvious thing to do would be, see how I hold it in, in between my fingers like that, holding it taut rather than having to mess about with a hoop? That's instead of a hoop. Just be careful not to stab your fingers because that's not fun. Um, you know, the obvious thing to, is to stitch around um, the piece. But I don't know if I'm going to do that. There's some messy X's there. And that, for the moment, might be it. That's a bit of a Y, that one.
I've made a bit of a mess there. Do I want anything else? Now, do I have any fluoro? I don't know. I, d I think I did get fluoro, but I don't think I've I've got it in my um, boxes. I don't like rushing these things. I like to think about it. Um, they're not the right colour. That's a nice... Those are all the colours in there, but... I don't know that that works. Although I could go around that one actually with this if I can thread it. That's the question. Can I thread it? It's one of the sock wools. I think it's a four ply. That little fella wants to be stitched, but I'm not going to stitch it in this video because I won't have time. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to thread this, so I might have to give up. not cooperating nope not happening it is not happening oh to be organized is this one thicker is this one bigger no it's not any bigger Please, no, nope. that didn't work either. That's even worse. Okay. It's a shocker. I'm going to be here till tomorrow. I'll go and get one of my big ones just a minute. I don't have my threader. But I have some more needles in here. Here we go. If it won't go in that one, it's a disaster. There we go. I should have done that in the first place. Now I want oh my goodness, what a goose. I pulled it, I pulled it out. Here we go. Right. Oh my goodness, I'll get there in the end, guys. I might not do, I was going to do running stitch, but I think I'm just going to do this sort of stitch around it. And I'm not going to do it my thread saving way because I want to get the, some variation in the colour. Oh, and it came out. Okay. Trim that bodgy end off. It's the pressure. It's the time pressure. Because we've been here for an hour. Mucking around. And I need to let you go and get going. It's incredible how, you know, um, stiff some of these fabrics are to get through. Especially with a thicker needle. That's why I was trying to get away with the thinner one. Okay, round the corner we go. You get the idea. So if if you don't want to see this, you can you can put your thing on double time um, and watch it faster, or you can jump to the end. I should have told you that at the beginning, but I didn't know I was going to take so long, did I? And I'm feeling hot. My hands are feeling hot because my window is closed. Goodness gracious. 
Okay, now we're getting to the pink. That's what I wanted. This needle does not like going through this fabric. It's also because I'm right at the edge of my fabric too, so it's a little bit harder to manage it. Oh, I love the colour change in it. It really goes well, I think, with all the colours happening on here. I mean, you could really go to town and really stitch this up and then use it on the cover. And I might, but I won't get it done in the video. And I'm all tangled now. I've got a knot and I can't get the knot out. Oh, well. Ho-hum. Well, I think I'll have to end the video there. I'm in a mess. It's not good to end in a mess, is it? Let's see. I might not even make it to the end. I like this one. It has very subtle colour changes in it. I may, oh, I don't know if I've got time, but I could stitch up, do another couple of them. This one, and I thought I had another one somewhere before I rudely put my things on top. These two, I could put stitches on those and then um, put, you know, close-ups at the end. So that way you can see how I stitch them. This one's a bit of a thing like my threads. There we go, just pull that. I am going to make it to the end. If my thread behaves. I think I've got three more stitches to do. Okay, that'll do. Right. You can't rush these things. So that's that. Let's just have a look at it. Do you know what I feel like it needs? You're going to die. In the best sense of the word. Oh yes, this is it. If I didn't like it, I would just cover it up. I'm going to go onto the stitches. Yeah, and fun, fun, fun. There we go. It's wild, but fun. Okay, so there we go. I've done my crazy stitched piece and I really love it. And I had a lot of fun doing it, except for the thread that stressed me out a little bit. Um, so anyway, I will maybe try and get another these other two done with a few stitches on them and I'll photograph them at the end. And I'll also photograph the pinned compositions that we put together um, as well and put them at the end so you can screenshot them if you want to. But there you go. So that's a little bit of fun, something different to do. And we have ended our 100 day project with a really long video. So thank you folks so much if you um, stuck through it with me. And even if you watched two minutes of it, thank you so much. And I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.